Equinox Observations, Flat Earth and Globe Earth, Part 3, The Zenith Angle of the Sun. This is the third video of our six video series, and in this video we're going to measure the height of the sun, the angle of elevation of the sun, at its highest point in the sky, or zenith. And we're going to build a solar clinometer. Preparation and tools. We're going to look up the zenith time, or solar noon, and we're going to make a solar clinometer. You can use suncalc.org and enter your location and the date of the equinox. In Philadelphia, that date is the 22nd of September. The solar noon, or the zenith point, is called the sun peak level, and it is given as a time. So in this case, it is 12.54 in the afternoon for Philadelphia. Or you can go to timeanddate.com and look it up there. Their layout is a little bit different. They use a full month's calendar, and there's a column on the right-hand side called Solar Noon, and you could find the time there. Just make sure you pick the date of the equinox. Next, we're going to make a solar clinometer. You'll need a protractor, a pencil, a piece of cardboard, some string or dental floss or thread, a clip, and some tape. So we're going to start by stabbing the pencil through a scrap of cardboard. Then you're going to take your protractor, preferably one with a hole, and you're going to tape it onto the edge of the pencil. And the alignment really needs to be perfect. There, make sure there are no gaps. Make sure that it's not overlapping so it's kind of flapping around. Taping it right on the edge, butt it up against the edge is the best. Then you're going to thread the, your string through the hole of the protractor. And I like to tie it off with a little piece of toothpick. That way it's a nice loose fit and it's always going to swing freely. Or you could tape it on the other side. Lastly, you're going to hang a clip from the end. So this is the finished clinometer. Making a careful observation. So here is the key, when you're only going to need to do this once, exactly one moment. At zenith, or solar noon, on the equinox, you are going to find the angle of elevation of the sun. So it's real simple. At the appointed time, you are going to align your pencil towards the sun so that the shadow disappears. Then you're going to take the reading off of your protractor. So what is the angle on this protractor? It is 68 degrees. After you have your protractor reading, we're going to subtract it from 90 degrees. So our angle was 68 degrees, so it actually is an angle of elevation of 22 degrees. So let's take a look at the Globe Earth model and the Flat Earth model to see how our data may line up. Remember that on the equinox, on the Globe Earth model, the Earth effectively has no tilt. Whereas on the Flat Earth model, the Sun is simply circling an orbit uh, directly above the equator. Let's take the Globe Earth model. And what we're going to do is we're going to slice away the Earth so that we're looking at it in cross-section. And the Sun is 93 million miles to our left. So here we see the equator and the North Pole, and we're going to draw a 30 degree angle towards the surface. That surface point is 30 degrees north latitude. That is 30 degrees above the equator on its way to the North Pole. Now if you extend this line through the, the Earth and make a pole, and then figure out what the angle of the Sun is with this blue pole, it's a 30 degree angle. Now if we actually figure out what an observer would, say, would see, the observer is standing on the Earth. So if he's standing next to this flagpole, what is the angle of elevation of the Sun for him? And it is a 60 degree elevation. So therefore we have a relationship. On the globe Earth, the zenith angle of the Sun on the equinox is 90 degrees minus your latitude. Now, remember our example where we had figured out a 22 degree angle of elevation. This might place us at Karuna, Sweden. Now, here's a little shortcut. If you remember our protractor reading was 68 degrees, you could just skip the middleman and say that the latitude is also 68 degrees. And this works north or south. On the flat earth model, you can take a map and any map will do, any flat earth map. In this case, we're going to use the AE projection, such as on the Gleason's map. And we're going to identify the North Pole, the equator, and the ice wall. 
And again, we have 90 degrees north, zero, and 90 degrees south. So we're gonna draw a little triangle here. And this triangle is very symmetric because the equator is equidistant from between the North Pole and the ice wall. So let's just focus in on the left-hand side of this triangle. Again, the North Pole is on the left and the equator is on the right. And we're going to place the sun at 3,000 miles uh, in elevation. And if you don't, if you wanna use a different value for the sun's elevation, that is fine. The calculation will still work uh, nicely. So let's place a couple other observers, one at 60 degrees latitude and the other at 30 degrees latitude. And the question is, how are we gonna find their angles of elevation towards the sun? Well, we need distance, and we need the distance to the equator. And a good um, shortcut is to use 69 miles per degree of latitude. Then, to find the angle of elevation, it's real simple. We simply find the arc tangent of the quantity 3,000 miles divided by d, where d is distance to the equator. And again, if you don't like the 3,000 mile elevation, substitute your own number. If you don't like using the Gleason map, then all you have to do is figure out what's the distance to the equator from your location. The calculation will be the same, and this works in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere equally. In this particular example, we calculated this to be 26 degrees, 36 degrees, and 55 degrees um, using that arc tangent. And again, you can substitute your own values from your model. So how does your results stack up? You, please feel free to share your results on Flat Earth Math message boards, flatearthmath.boards.net, set up by Kara Diane. And you can share your zenith angle and your location. Our next video is going to be on the path of the sun in the sky, and it's actually going to be a really neat result on the equinox. All you need is a shadow stick sundial, which you can make out of a piece of plywood with a nail stuck in it, or a pizza box with a toothpick sticking out of it. Please remember to be kind whenever possible, because it is always possible. Thank you.